hug your knees in and just gently rocking from side to side. And then just drawing some circles, some small little circles. Anything with your knees tucked into the chest is going to open and release through the lower back. Other way. So I'm still keeping my tummy scooped when my knees are up, just to help support my lower back. I'm going to exhale to gently drop the knees and you're going to look to the opposite arm. Now, if you feel that you need more of a stretch here, imagine that the kneecap here is being pulled towards the camera. So it's really lengthening through the side of my waist up to my armpit, okay? Or if you need more, then obviously you can cross that leg and pull that knee down towards the floor. And we're just gonna hold here for four deep breaths, but really breathing into the side of the waist. So feel like you're being wrung out like a wet towel. And the bit where the water's dripping is all through that waistline. Lengthening the fingers far away from the body. Lengthening that opposite knee down towards the floor and away from the floor. We're just going to bring one foot forwards into a kneeling lunge. Now, when we're doing this, please make sure that your heel is directly underneath your knee and that your heel and your whole foot can actually touch the floor. So then rest that back foot down and we're just going to gently do a twist here. So if you want, you can place one hand on that knee and then you can just gently rotate and twist and looking up towards the sky if possible, otherwise looking straight ahead. If you'd like to take the next level, engage through your tummy, lift and lengthen through that arm, create length. And then circle that hand back and we're gonna do the other arm. So reaching the other arm up to the sky. Three deep breaths here. Engaging the tummy on each exhale, lengthening through the fingers more. And then coming 